A mission accomplished. More than 75 West Michigan veterans are back on the ground after a whirlwind tour of Washington, D.C. It's all part of Talons Out Honor Flight, a chance to honor our World War II vets with a trip to see the memorials in our nation's capital at no cost to them. Such a great program, and our Lauren Springer was there every step of the way. She is live in studio now to talk about a day of memories made and memories shared. Lauren. Well, Andy, Kate, they're called the greatest generation. This trip, a small way to say thank you for those that gave so much. Each veteran given mission orders to serve one last tour. This one, a tour of honor. On a day just for them, it's a moment to stop and remember. Memories, decades old, running deep for a room full of decorated World War II vets. Memories of fallen friends and the fight for our freedom. We will remember the last rest of my life. A sea of patriotism. Travelers decked out in red, white, and blue. 77 West Michigan heroes boarding this plane. Traveling back to a time most of us will never know. Look out both windows! A special send-off from Kalamazoo to the nation's capital with a water cannon salute here on the tarmac. And then it's wheels up. A string of strangers waiting to welcome our vets off the plane. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Hundreds of students and military men crowding the hallways. The people in Memorial coming up to the World War II vets and saying thank you for your service. And they have no idea who he is. It's just, it's very powerful. Strangers standing in line for hugs and handshakes. Welcome to the memorial. Welcoming these heroes to a symbol of our freedom, the freedom they fought for decades ago. Passing under the Pacific Arch, the cheers fade. Veterans with their guardians now remembering. It's absolutely out of your imagination. I had no idea that it was this elaborate. For Al Justice, this moment's not for him, but for a best friend lost during his three-year tour in Germany, both young men in their early 20s. We were missing so many people by death each star here, the symbol of sacrifice. I keep looking at faces to see if I, I thought somewhere along the line that I recognized one guy. One for every 100 fallen World War II soldiers, 4,000 stars lining the wall. And he was at Battle of the Vault, and uh, so we were sitting over there where it was engraved, and just, you know, he kind of got a blank look on his face. And I said, does this bring back a lot of memories? He said, yeah, it does. Very, very nice and very impressive. Really something. Many making the trip not for themselves, but for others. Just wouldn't give up. Those left on the battlefield decades ago. This makes you all seem worthwhile, to, you know, and that you fought for the for the country, and you, right now it turned out the way you hoped it would. And those at home unable to make this journey, the U.S. losing our World War II heroes at the rate of 900 a day. I don't know if words can really describe what it what it is and how the feeling you get. Leonard Melvin served from 44 to 46 as a water tender in the South Pacific. For the 88-year-old, today is having others to share stories with. When you get here and then with your, all your veterans, it just means a lot. It's a thank you that's come 70 years after he was called home. Many of these vets humble, just now recognizing the power of their service. I never thought that I was doing so much that uh, uh, I could be singled out or anything like that. It really is an honor for me too, and uh, just a shivers. And the World War II Memorial was just the first stop on this trip, but the day of thank yous only continued from there. We'll have a closer look at the surprises that came next right back here tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Live in studio, Lauren Springer, News Channel 3.